Hey, Sensei Yu here. We're going to talk about, uh, in the brown belt class, a couple of my favorite Shotokan concepts and principles. Basically, how do you create power? Now, if you were doing Shodu or Shonaru, you might be creating power by dropping. So they have taught that to actually drop and use the weight to create power. In Shotokan, we actually create power in a couple of different ways. The three ways I want to demonstrate tonight for the brown belt class is so oi the idea of momentum you're stepping from a beginning position and finishing in a another stance so it would be from front stance to front stance how much oi how much momentum do you have going forward we don't go up and down so for example here again we're going to go forward right or backwards without going up and down second one is hip rotation so we talk a lot about yakuzuki and how quickly you can get to the target with your hand, but really the, the engine for that movement is coming from the hips. So without moving your feet, without stepping, you can keep your feet stationary and turn the hip to make power. So whether you're doing an elbow strike, or a tate elbow strike, rising elbow strike, or yakuzuki, you're using the hip rotation to make power. Finally, we have something that we'll cover more deeply in the black belt class or the adult class, I should say, is hip vibration. So when I started karate 20 some, 30 some years ago, uh, my instructor, uh, Japanese man, Haramoto Sensei, talked about vibration. Hip vibration is, I think, a, probably a, a loose um, Japanese English translation of relaxation. It's not actually vibrating, it's relax and then connect, okay? So let's start there. Let's start there. For here, when you have your, your punches right in the center, your body's not moving, your feet are planted, your hips have to vibrate. They don't actually shake, but actually relax and contract. So relax, contract, relax, contract. So my hands might even show you, relax, contract. So breathe in and out, breathe in and out. And the hips will be, and here, and here. So we're not actually uh, changing our direction of our hips, but we're relaxing and contracting, okay? So for your first part of your training tonight, you're actually going to do three sets of 10. So from here, I want you to relax, contract, relax, contract, relax, contract, relax, contract, relax, contract. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. We can do that even in cubit. Okay? So we're going to relax here. And in fact, I want you to, instead of punching, we're going to do um, let's the elbow strike. Right? So that's actually more rotation. So I want you to relax and do maybe uppercut. Okay? So from here, you're going to go relax and contract this way. Okay? Relax and contract. Again. Other side. Okay, that's contract. Like Tiki. Okay, that's contract. Here, relax, contract. Okay, relax, contract. Okay, so you're gonna do that three sets of 10 in every stance, not just shoulder with stance, but also front stance. So, front stance, what I like to do is from here, not to reach, from here, to relax. So right hand is out, left leg is out, and then wajiki, or ikami ziki, right? Relax here, relax, contract. So opposite hand in front, right hand is punching. Relax, up, up. So we're not lifting, we're not lifting and dropping, we're not tilting, leaning, we're just relaxing, contracting. So let's try the other side. So if your right leg is forward, left hand is out, okay? The punch is coming from this side, relax this region, and then contract. Ready? Right. And last one. From the side, same thing. Here. Okay, last one. I'm gonna show you. Right, not here, not here, not up and down. Last one. So you can pause now and do that three times. Again, 
Left leg forward, right leg forward. Keep it on the cheek, one stance, back stance. Do all of that. So relax and contract here, okay? The second one, rotation. And this one is pretty easy to demonstrate. You guys see it a lot in the dojo. It's actually tested. So try practicing this one. Go ahead and put your left leg forward. I'm going to mirror to you. Down walk, counter punch, right? So opposite hand and leg. Nose, knuckle, navel still in the center. Do rise and block. Not here. This is a block. We want to protect our target and turn it back. And then punch. Rise and block, punch. Forearm block, punch. Downward sweeping block, punch. And for you guys who are brown belts, let's do back stance. We're going to move our front leg, but using our back hip to pull the front leg, punch. Okay? I'm going to rotate this way so you can see it a little bit better, and we're going to go a little bit faster. So start with the Yakazuki, opposite hand and leg. Rise and block, hip is back, counter punch. Forearm block, hip is back, counter punch. Feet don't move, knees don't rock. Down block, counter punch. Neck and block, back stance, counter punch. Okay, little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more time. It's me. Sun, chi. Go, rook, chi, etch. Okay, so it's all of this. This is the rotation part of your training. So if you do this 10 times on each leg, then you can do the other side. Same idea. Okay, one time only on this side of me, rising up a counter punch. Forearm block, counter punch. Down block, hip is back. Really from knee to hip is moving. Feet don't move, counter punch. This one, front leg moves, shift, back stance. Back leg is going to drive, hip is going to drive, counter punch. Okay, awesome. All right, and the final thing is this is going to get you your heart rate going the fastest is three sets of 10 oizuki. So you're gonna move from one stance, fully powered into the next stance. So you're creating power by actually stepping, not going up and down, but driving forward. So from here, you're gonna step, left hand is out, you're gonna step forward, punch, right? Step forward, punch, and come back. So each time you come back, try to keep your heel on the ground. So for example, um, we've been trying to tell you not to move your front toes, not to lift your back heel. So watch. As you step forward, punch. When you come back, pressure. Pressure down, pull back. Right? So step forward, punch. And then you come back. This is the extra training for tonight is sit into your back leg, almost cat stand, step back. Right? One more time. Punch. So momentum coming forward, oiziki. Step back, down walk. Punch. Down walk. Last one, punch. Down walk. Okay, three sets, each leg, each side. And that is going to be your round belt workout. At the end, if you would, stretch ankles. Stretch this way. Stretch here. Stretch here. And then, of course, your hips. So you're going to put your hands on your hips. Big circle around at the end. Four times one way, four times the other way. And then relax. Okay, have a good night. Just